Welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. Spend a little time with Paula as she talks to her fans, makes some great dishes, helps with cooking problems, and she even gives some useful tips on how to make cooking easier and a whole lot more fun. Join us each week for What's Cooking with Paula Dean. If you have any questions or would like to talk to Paula, please send an email to podcast at pauladean.com. Now, let's join Paula and see what's cooking today. Hey, y'all. Welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean today. Uh, it's, it's a day that I'm going to take some questions and answers. Okay. I'm Jeannie. I'm from Oklahoma. And my question is, how do you tolerate this humid weather? We have humid weather, but not this bad. And also, what is the best way to make melted butter in the microwave? <laughs> okay. <laughs> humid weather. I've spent 72 years in this state, y'all, which is my whole life, and I have not adapted yet. I think I was really supposed to be born a little Yankee girl because I hate the heat. <laughs> I love the South, but I hate the heat, y'all. Uh, so to me, you, it's just something you don't ever get used to. But if you want to live in the South, there's certain months that you just have to tolerate. And the best way to melt butter in the microwave is I put mine in on 30 seconds and I keep doing it until I've got it melted. And then if you want to clarify it, you just dip the butter off the top or if you've got one of those cups that separates fat from uh, liquid you can put it in there because a good bit of butter or margarine has water in it and you really don't want to saute or anything with with the water part of the butter so just skim that the pure butter off and then throw the the water away that's it <laughs> It's easy peasy. In fact, I've got to get me one of those cups that separate grease from juice. I used to have one years ago and I lost it, but those come in so handy. All right, here we go. Hey, Paula, I'm Renee. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, actually here for my dad's uh, World War II reunion. Unfortunately, all the gentlemen have passed, but the children get together once a year and we pick Savannah this year, so we're glad we're here. My question for you is, on a lot of cooking shows, they use vanilla, but I don't see them using pure vanilla. I get my vanilla from Mexico. I just wondered why you use vanilla extract versus vanilla. That's it, thanks. <laughs> All right, her name was Renee, right? Didn't she say her name was Renee? I, I, I think she said that. Uh, I tell you what, Renee, here at our house, we make our own vanilla. And it's so easy to make. Um, in fact, the, the very first bottle I made, it was bought at a store. And it's called Perpetual Vanilla. And all you have to do is, is get your vanilla pods and cut them down the middle. And then take your sharp paring knife and just scrape all of that goody out of that bean and then you just put it in your bottle all that good gooey stuff you just put in your bottle and then you add your beans and I probably do about four or five whole beans and then I fill it up with vodka uh, some people use a bourbon but I, I like vodka and it usually takes about six weeks before you can use it and it's so much more financially economical to make your own vanilla. Personally, I don't use anything but pure vanilla when I have to rely on the store. Uh, so I, I, don't, I don't know what they're using on the cooking shows. You know, I don't watch anymore. <laughs> I try to just do the cooking and not watch somebody else do it. Is that terrible? <laughs> The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. 
Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom-made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited-time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're going to love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. All right, next question. Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm from St. Louis, and we're here to tour the Girl Scouts with Juliet Lowe, the founder of Girl Scouts. Uh, and we're also here to see Paula Dean, hoping to meet her and get some autographs. And Paula Dean, were you ever in Girl Scouts? We just wanted to know if you were involved in that great society with all the girls. <laughs> all right, Nicole. I, I remember I remember you from the book signing. I remember all the girls. Uh, Savannah is the home to Juliet Gordon Lowe the lady that founded the Girl Scouts. So we have thousands and thousands and thousands of young girls and young women that come here to visit her home place. And I'm proud to say, yes, I was a Girl Scout. In fact, I still have my Girl Scout handbook in there on our shelves. <laughs> oh, that was a fun question. Join us each week for What's Cooking with Paula Dean. Spend a little time with Paula as she talks to her fans, makes some great dishes, helps with cooking problems, and she even gives some useful tips on how to make cooking easier and a whole lot more fun. If you have any questions or would like to talk to Paula, please send an email to podcast at pauladean.com. Join Paula and see what's cooking today.